At 5.20 a.m. the explosion should be somewhere soon. Or 5.30 a.m., maybe 6 o'clock. Explosion. Yes. Wow, I'm shocked. On this video, sappers of the 80th Separate Air Resort Brigade destroyed more than 8 kilograms of Russian ammunition found in the frontline villages of the Donetsk region. Here are anti-tank mines and high-explosive fragmentation shells. Sappers not only eliminate the consequences of shelling by the Russian army in hot spots, in positions such as Bakhmut. Their task is to destroy the enemy. To do this, they use a portable demining installations too. UR-83P is such a 120-meter rope. It consists of engines. There are additional engines that accompany the rope itself from the detonating cord, and it flies to a distance of 440 meters with a brake rope that causes this cord to detonate. The work of military sappers is a every second risk. They say that in Bakhmut it was important to maintain maximum concentration in order not to be blown up by mines and not to fall under enemy fire. Nineteen-year-old Roman has been working as a sapper for more than a year. He served in Bakhmut for three months. He remembers how mining territories with anti-personal mines, he came under fire from a Russian tank. We were assigned a combat mission to block the approaches to our landing positions. We went out and worked according to the standard pattern. We'd almost finished, and suddenly a missile flew from the tank to our landing ones. Twice, the third time, the fourth. As soon as you heard the whistling, fall down and crawl. We were a little covered with sound waves. It happens that it takes several days to complete a combat mission in order to qualitatively mine the probable paths of the Russian offensive. Accurate intelligence data is needed. When performing the tasks of demining territories, it is important for sappers to recognize all the demasking features of the landscape. Freshly dug up land, recently planted trees. The sappers say that the Russian invaders leave many dangerous surprises. <laughs> The unsafe devices I have encountered are surprise mines that the enemy places under anti-tank mines. There are unloading actions. When you pick it up, it sort of unloads and detonates. In most cases, mines which are designed to destroy manpower and military equipment are buried in the ground, sappers say. But how? Can they be buried? Yes, they are buried. See, it gives a signal here. So either there is a shard or something else is buried. For nine years of Russian war, the territory of Ukraine is considered the most contaminated with explosive objects. According to the Cabinet of Ministers of Ukraine, at the beginning of this year, 250,000 square kilometers of territory are mined. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Olena Gramova, UATV News.